All right, guys, this is Preston with N3 Boatworks outside with a 2007 Bayliner 197 deck boat. Uh, white and blue with a decal over the blue stripe. Sitting on a single axle Bayliner trailer with a spare tire on this. Um, trailer's blue, as you can see, to match the boat. Double bimini on this bay liner. Nice little boat, really good shape. Um, nice open seating layout, which you'll see when we hop into the interior. But uh, definitely a, a well kept boat. Um, wide again, wide open seating layout on the interior. Sitting with the uh, 4.3 liter uh, six cylinder Mercruiser engine. Uh, with the Cruiser Alpha 1 Outdrive. Nice fresh prop on here as well. Um, spins nice and easy. Uh, plenty of power to go out and ski, uh, pull tubes, and just you know have a good time out on the water. Um, on the back here you're gonna see a flip down ladder. There's also one up on the front of the boat. You see on this side, there's the spare tire for the trailer. And we'll come around to the front. Show you that ladder here. So this thing flips up, ladder comes down, hop back in the boat. Uh, exterior condition, just a few little things. Um, the main thing to note is gonna be this decal. Uh, on both sides is chewed up I'm um, on a few different spots, so we'll go down the side here to give you a look. Nothing super bad on there, and nothing that really gets into the gel coat super deep, aside from a couple small nicks on the corners here. So you got one through the gel there, a couple light scratches on that. Um, again, kind of a piece of the decal peel in there. Nothing crazy. Um, on over here by the ladder, you got another small chip there, super small, and then actually one right here, it's a little bit bigger, which is probably the, um, the most significant uh, damage or blemish you're going to see on the boat, it's through the gel there. Um, let's take one more look down the, let's take a look down the right side before we hop on into the interior. Again, same, similar story. Um, decals are a little chewed up, but uh, nothing crazy. See a little bit up towards the front here. Um, but that's really the main things to point out on the outside of the boat. Whole bottom's clean. Trailer's in good shape. Gel is in good shape. No, no serious fading anywhere that you're going to see. So why don't we hop up inside, take a look at the interior. So as mentioned before, super open seating layout. It's in this thing sitting at 19 feet. There's a whole lot of room in here. So it seats 10 people. Um, Snap-in carpet, four speaker stereo system. Um, and just, again, seating all the way around arena style. Um, so fit the whole crew in this thing. Um, on the back, again, you've got the ladder with the grab handle here. Flip this open and we're gonna have like a cooler in the back on the uh, the starboard side of the boat if we head over here to the port side you'll see our battery setup and just some storage underneath so um, that goes up quite a ways throw your gear and everything in there so a lot of storage in this boat Pretty much all, you know, all the way around under the seats are gonna have storage. Um, you do have a little storage basket for walking into the boat. Now this seat here, the seat back can raise up and out, and this you can take out the, uh, the seat base here. Kind of have like a walk through into the boat if you don't want to walk in the vinyl. So you'll see, pop that out and uh, walk right down into the boat. Um, let's pop open the engine cover. On top of here, you're gonna have a few cup holders. Um, but let me get this open here. 
thing just lifts up on a gas shock here. And then there's our 4.3 liter um, Recruiser motor again. Freshly serviced by N3. And one thing you'll see under there is your table, which actually mounts up towards the front of the boat. I'll show you where that goes in. But you've got the mount and the table itself that uh, have their little storage panels under there to get it out of the way for you. Um, let's sit down on the dash here. Basic instrumentation across the dash. Um, trim, fuel, tack, uh, speedometer, so on and so forth. Uh, you got, again, your four-speaker stereo, so that mounts here. Um, Sirius Ready, Bluetooth, AM, FM, all the goodies on there. Um, and then all your switches for um, accessories and bilge and uh, lights and all that are going to be there. Auxiliary plug-in for the stereo sitting right there. Um, over here, you're going to have a couple cup holders and then your, uh, your throttle there does have adjustable steering so you can move that up and down uh, let's take a look around what other storage we've got so under the back center seat here um, not, again another another big storage area um, a couple fire extinguishers down in there at the moment um, got the anchor light ran across here but that plugs in at the back of the boat um, open this up Long storage area there, could fit some skis or boards in there if need be. And then our freshwater tank sits right under there. So you do have like a wash down on this boat. Center floor storage, You've got the cover in there currently. And that's probably about all you're gonna fit in there, but uh, great, space, uh, great spot for that. Up in the front that open you got your other battery and some more storage up under there if we open our front center cushion here we're gonna have a spot for a fishing seat to mount so that thing slides in there currently got that thing stored under this seat here so that thing simply clips into that base under the seat there Um, and then up front you got a little deck to stand on you know, if you're up front fishing um, or jumping off and swimming a little space up front your bimini top is obviously in the storage position now in the boot but uh, unzip those things and they simply uh, you take these arms clip them in up here put these arms clip them in up here so you've got full coverage in a nice shaded area on the bay liner. Keep you out of the sun. Um, interior vinyl's in great shape. Um, we did a full detail on it and it cleaned up well. You'll see a few little things like this. I mean, it's apparent the boat is, you know, it's 10 years old now, so you can tell it doesn't have that same bright um, interior look to it, but the vinyl's all in really good shape. I mean, there's no rips or tears anywhere. Um, that are of, of note. I mean, everything is good. Um, little discoloration here on the driver's seat. Um, a little stain on the back here. But uh, it's really the extent of what you're going to see on the interior of this thing. Carpet's super clean. And uh, just overall, pretty nice little boat. So, if you guys have any questions, give us a ring at 317. 845-9253 and uh, come check this thing out on our lot in 3 Boatworks 7001 Hawthorne Park Drive thanks for watching